This is something that I've needed for a while, a large cross-cut sled. This is going to be a simple build, nothing too fancy. I'm starting off with a piece of half-inch Baltic birch plywood. You could use half-inch, any kind of half-inch plywood you have. I happen to have Baltic birch plywood. For the back of the sled, use a nice straight piece of wood. I've got a piece of five-quarter poplar here that's nice and straight. If you eyeball down the, the board, it doesn't have any bends in it. You can also laminate three-quarter inch plywood together, but you want something a little bit thicker than, say, three-quarters of an inch. For the front of the sled, I'm using two pieces of poplar that I laminated together. This is for another project, and I'm going to get started by first attaching the front of the sled to the plywood by screwing up through the bottom of the plywood into this board. I'm setting up the sled, how it will be pushed through the saw. I'm just going to mark right where the blade will be pushed through or, or come through the sled because I wouldn't want to hit a screw with the blade. I'm using squeeze clamps to hold the board in place and attaching the board with inch and five eighths drywall screws. For the runners, first I've cut a piece of material a little bit less than an eighth of an inch and I'll slide that into the miter slot on both sides. Now I'm working on the runners that will be attached to the bottom of the sled. These are made out of maple, you want to use a hardwood. I've measured and marked just about every six inches, and now I'm going to pre-drill and countersink holes at the marks. Now I'll place the runners in the miter slots with the countersink facing down. Now I'll place the sled on top of the runners, and I've set the fence at the table saw so I know where I want the sled to line up. I'll put a mark at the center of the runner on both runners. Now I'm using a framing square to draw a line, and that way I know when I nail, I'm nailing into the center of the runner. I'm attaching the runner with three quarter inch pin nails, and I've written down the measurements so I know that I'm avoiding the countersink. And I'll nail at two, nine, 16, and 20. So it really, it really depends on where you drilled the holes, but you just wanna avoid putting a nail into one of the holes that you drilled. I'm using a hand screwdriver to make sure I don't strip the screws. Okay, well, something was off. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna have to cut these off. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll just cut these off with the pull saw and then attach the runner and I can use a longer screw here because I'm going into the front of the sled. I've raised the blade and now I'm going to cut through the sled and stop about four inches from the back. Before I attach the back of the sled or the fence, I'm going to trim it down a little bit at each end.
So now I've got the sled back on the table saw. I haven't attached the back yet. This is just here so I can trace a line and then I'll move the sled or move the back and I'll drill holes about a half of an inch from that line and countersink from the bottom. Notice I'm not countersinking the top. I'll make the countersink from the bottom. I attach the fence or the back of the sled with one screw right here. Now using the framing square and the kerf that's in the sled, I'll adjust the fence until it's nice and square, clamp it down, and then finish attaching the fence with screws from the bottom. I just added this block of wood for safety, something to house the blade. Maybe I'll paint that red. You just want to make sure that you keep your hands away from where the blade is coming through the sled. Now I'm going to cross cut this piece of quarter inch plywood and we'll see how square it is. Alright, well that worked out really well. This, the uh, sled is cutting nice and square and it didn't take long to build and it's going to be a big time saver. I really should have made something like this a long time ago, just for whatever reason I didn't. I've always had shorter sleds, but this is going to be great because now I can just set up a stop block, cut a bunch of bookshelves or cabinet sides, and it's going to just be really easy. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.